Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and this cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whom the universe is sending into your life next. So this reading here is going to be tailored for those of you that are looking for someone. You know, if you're single and you're open, receptive, and you're inviting a new energy into your life, we'll, we'll see whom the universe is sending into your life next. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and connect. My email address will be listed just below the video in the show more section. So let's give the cards a shuffle and see whom the universe is sending into your path here. Yeah. Onto your path and into your life. Okay, you've got the Page of Wands, Strength, Temperance, the Nine of Swords here. Okay, so a lot of major arcana cards here. Okay, this person has a wonderful healing energy to them, okay? And it feels like either they're someone who is on a journey of healing and wellness, okay? And it feels like this person is going to be is going to be bringing a lot of healing energies into your life. There's a very nice balance of energies around them. There's, I feel like this is someone who is very patient, someone very spiritual, someone very in touch with him or herself quite intuitive, someone who I feel like is just, they're very grounded and it just feels like this is someone who, they've either have gone through a lot of pain in their life, okay, with the Nine of Swords, or as I've mentioned, and they're like, they've put themselves on a journey to healing, on a journey to wellness, and I feel like they're in the process of transitioning and letting go, okay, letting go of anything and anyone that no longer serves them uh, positively. And I feel like it will be, it will really, the time in which you guys might meet or cross paths will really coincide because they've gone through some healing and when they meet you, I feel like you yourself will have like a healing energy, at least to them, about you, okay, so you will aid them on their journey here of healing and wellness. There's um, you will also, I feel like, especially with the star card here, for them, you will also be like a shining light, a bright shining light in a darkness here, in a period of darkness that they've endured, or I feel like meeting you, in meeting you, you might shine a light onto their darkness, onto any fears, anxieties, or insecurities that they may have here. So I feel like the two of you will both, will both help each other on your journey of healing, okay? And you'll both help each other in growing as well and developing here and pushing past and outside of boundaries here now this person may be a little bit younger than yourself with the page of wands energy here i feel like they are a bit of a traveler or they're just very energetic here they might have traveled the globe could be from a different cultural background you might meet this person online they may have an accent they may be doing a lot of traveling in the future for work or for leisure here there's just um there may also be a, a like a professional athlete who might ha be required to travel for work purposes. There's just quite a restless kind of energy around them. I do feel like this person is coming up younger than you. If this person is not younger than you, then I feel like the interpretation there is that they're just very youthful, very playful. They've just got that kind of energy about them here. Um, very athletic. I feel like this person is very, there's a lot of athleticism to their energy here. Very strong here. Very mental strong mental resiliency to their energy here a lot of athleticism as well athlete keeps coming up or they're just someone who plays sports here now that mental because of that they're so mentally resilient and i feel like it's that mental attitude here that's helped them build themselves up to be so strong so not only do they look strong they also are very strong okay like mentally physically emotionally spiritually i feel like it's partly due to the fact that they've gone through some things in life but i also feel like it's like their attitude here their approach to life as well um you'll find that this person like animals are very drawn to this person they've got a great energy very warm energy about them very loving nurturing caring very attentive they either have I'm not sure if they're like run a shelter for like is it dogs or animals, cats, 
uh, or I feel like they may volunteer their time or they like taking stray dogs or stray cats. Just a beautiful loving energy. They've got a lot of love to give here. I feel like they've always had pets. I've always had animals growing up. They may have even grown up on a um, on a farm here. Strong Leo energy is coming up, guys. Strong Leo here. Strong fire energy here. There's quite, there's quite an alchemy to all of this, to their energy, and to this connection. And I feel like the way in which the two of you will meet, now, there might not be, you might not be head over heels in love right away. It may not necessarily even be love at first sight. You may even question some things upon meeting them. But I feel like what you won't doubt is that there is some sort of magic in the air. There's just something about them that's going to draw you to them. Whether it's their looks, their aura, their vibe, their energy, or whatever else. Something here is going to really draw you like a, like an insect to a flame kind of energy here. Okay, they've got this like, there's this light playfulness attitude about them. I feel like they're almost like, they're very good with children. They may have children of their own, or children flock to them very easily. Just because of that playful demeanor, that very charming um, energy here. Now, they do have some anxieties, they do have some pain or some worries here. And I feel like this person is working through them, okay? There is something here that it feels like it, they're really riddled with this energy. Is it guilt? Is it, sh is it shame? Is it regret? Remorse? There's something here that I feel like they keep replaying over and over again in their head. It feels like it's from the past here, their past actions. Something they said or something that was said to them or something that they did or what was done to them. They're trying to make peace with it, okay? And I feel like this is why they want to put themselves on this pathway to wellness and healing because they know that they have to, they know that things happen for a reason and, you know, they try and use things as a learning tool, especially past mistakes. They try and use it as a learning tool for all future um, experiences. But there are certain things that they just can't stop thinking about or there are certain things that they can't let go they have a hard time it feels like it's something painful because of the dark energy and the destructive energy of the swords here they could they could be prone to like anxieties depression they could be prone to self-limiting it's not self-limiting beliefs but it's like thinking negatively about themselves they try to always look on the upside of things but i feel like they may be inclined to be a little bit like pessimistic at times okay but i feel like you know they try to be a like a sh like a shining light to everyone they meet they try to they come across as very happy very chirpy someone who's very you know seems as though their life is like all put together but beneath the surface i feel like there's a bit of a darkness that they find themselves in they're very spiritual here um it's not so much that they're religious although they could be but it's just like very spiritual okay even if they do like believe in God, it's not so much that they attend church. They just, you know, believe that God is in their heart or God is everywhere. They're just coming up as very spiritual, very spiritual. Um, they could also like visit spiritual resorts. They may have tattoos. I'm seeing either tattoos of a star here or like a birthmark, a birthmark or a unique scar of some sort here around this person's energy here. Scar, tattoo, like a tattoo of a star. A, or maybe they tattoo, they, that tattoo was positioned in the place of where a scar or a birthmark was, was, once was. That's very interesting. But it's almost like they're trying to hide something that is very unique about them when they should be embracing it. That's very interesting. They do have some very unique qualities. You'll find that this person is going to be very different to people that you've met in the past. A little bit quirky, someone who marches to the beat of their own drum, someone who is a leader, not a follower, okay? Um, I did mention very spiritual, very in touch with themselves, very in touch with their higher purpose. I feel like they're going through a lot of changes in their life and it feels like They've started out in one career, but I feel like they're making a transition to a different career. And this next career will be something that's in line with their higher purpose, with like a niche and a spiritual, like a calling here. It feels like, it feels like they've gone through some sort of awakening or it feels like they're going through a lot of changes and transformations in their life here. A lot of big major changes here. 
coming around this per coming up around this person's energy. I also feel like this person has kind of recently um, gotten out of like a major long term relationship, but and it has I feel like it has ended a bit painfully hurtfully like they didn't necessarily end on the best of terms but i feel like they've learned a lot from that relationship they learned to better themselves um, they learned what they want and what they don't want so they've, they've they've done a lot of learning and discovering about themselves and people here especially from their most recent relationship and it feels like it was something really long term it feels like they may even have been married here or they may have plans to marry this person it feels like it was really serious but it didn't work out because essentially this person here otherwise wouldn't have met you right so I definitely feel like the universe is sending someone very special into your life and I feel like a big part of this connection feels like it's going to be very healing the both of you are going to offer each other some very healing qualities and energies here and I feel like the reason why this person is joining you or you're jo joining them on their path is because because of these healing energies there's just you there's definitely like a balance of energies and the two of you will you will help each other in so many ways i can't even begin to tell you like and i've mentioned possibly the best way of summing this up is like you will be a shining light and there will be a shining light as well in a period of darkness here and they will illuminate to you a lot of things about yourself maybe even things about yourself that you have to heal here all right guys and these are your messages thanks for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel liking sharing for those of you interested in a reading feel free to connect otherwise bye